is that? Fucking insane. Let's go, guys. I'm in Utah. All right. Just want to talk about weed and alcohol, right? Because people around my age, it seems like it's a topic that you just, if you're around people in their 1820s area, I don't know if this continues when you get older, but in that area, it just continues and continues to be brought up over and over and over. And guys, this does not have to be your life. Like, you need to understand the reasoning why a lot of these people smoke weed and drink alcohol. All it's doing is putting you behind. Fucking understand that, man. All it's doing is putting a veil over your brain so that, so that you won't be conquering your issues as quickly. It's just masking your issues, man. Right when the high is over, they're going to come right back. The issues are going to come right back, and you're going to feel even worse about them. And you're just going to have to smoke again or drink again. Okay? <laughs> to deal with issues, you're not supposed to, you shouldn't be masking them temporarily. Because yes, weed and alcohol does temporarily get rid of all of your problems great but all you are doing weed and alcohol is the main procrastination tool in advancing in life because you can't be advancing and conquering your issues with this veil that just makes you not give a shit about anything guys the question you should be asking is not if oh god the uh, weed is not psych is not addictive physically so it's not bad for you guys it doesn't matter if it even is addictive or not. What matters is that is putting a veil over your mind to make it so you can't focus as well on, on the real things that matter. All you, if you smoke weed, you're not gonna give a shit. You already won if you smoke weed. There's nothing, there's nothing left to do. Your body's like, dude, this feels so good. Like, all the problems are gone. This feels great. Guys, if you want to do something more in your life, you can't be smoking weed and drinking alcohol regularly. You can't do it. There's... Guys, who is successful? Who has done extremely great things while doing those things every day? Who? It's no coincidence, guys. Because if you're doing these things... It's just an artificial way to win. You just, you, it's over. You got success. You feel it. You feel great. Why, why do anything else? There's no point. You don't want to be just avoiding your problems. And guys, a lot of people say they just smoke to, to sleep. Why can't you sleep? A lot of times it could be because you can't, deal with your thoughts before bed you're laying down and your thoughts are racing so much because you haven't dealt with them all day that you need weed to numb them and then you go back in the next day and you consume and consume guys you can't sleep without weed because you can't deal with your thoughts and your problems it, it, once again so don't take that as an, that as an excuse because that's what I used to do I took that as an excuse like oh pfft bro i just use it to sleep and plus you're cutting out your rem sleep by doing that anyways you won't be having as many dreams or any at all even but you definitely won't as have as many and won't get as quality of a sleep that you need so you won't be as energized for the next day but you want to be experiencing dreams you want to get into your subconscious and, and go around in there have a little look around because that's what you're doing in your dreams but oh, it's not only hiding you from the real world, weed and alcohol, because alcohol does that too. It inhibits your dreams. You're hiding yourself from the astral world too. You're hiding yourself from the dream world as well as the real world. You're double hiding. It's just hiding. It's a, weed is just a little hidey hole. Oh, I'm, I'm a little comfortable here. I'm good. I don't have to worry about anything. I'm just a, a little comfortable. Guys, you gotta be, you gotta go through the fear. You gotta go through the hardship 
to be able to do anything. You can't just be in your little comfortable hidey hole and be like, oh my God, let me just smoke weed and just like lay down and shit and just, yeah. And you won't even feel guilty about it because you can't feel guilty when you're smoking weed or drinking. That's why everybody around you will realize it, that it's not good. That most people realize it's not good other than the people who are also doing it. Because you, when you're on it, you don't think it doesn't feel bad. If it, it doesn't matter if it doesn't feel bad. Why does that matter? It's tricking you. It's literally making you feel good for the wrong thing. It's, it's totally inverting your brain. Like, oh, well, I can just sit here and just smoke weed. And then, um, eh, I'm, I'm all good then, you know? If, guys, smoke weed if you want if you are 100% comfortable and you're just chilling, you're just like, all right, I don't want to do anything. I just, I'm fine being at this exact level that I'm at right now. Then keep smoking weed. Keep smoking weed because guess what? You will stay at that level or get below it. So if you're fine where you're at, you don't want to get higher in life, higher in anything then just, just keep smoking weed, keep doing it, guys. Put that veil, put that veil, okay? Get in your, get in your hole, put the, put the dirt over the hole and just, just crouch in there until the high's over. And then, oh, it's even worse when you come out of it. Oh, fuck, damn it. Man, everything in life is just a hidey hole. When your phone's a hidey hole. There are so many hidey holes out here, man. Just distracting you from trying to deal with your issues. That's what everything is, what video games are too, but people don't realize that it doesn't matter. Man, if weed is making you feel good, that's bad. You don't want to be training yourself to that, man. It's not good. And then it, it can lead to other complications. There's second and third order consequences to it. For me, I would binge eat from it too. I would just activate fucking manimal mode when I smoked. It would be like, okay, I'm just going to smoke and that's it. Man. Oh, but uh, no, now I got to eat a bunch too. Oh, now I got to like have sex and shit too. Oh, oh, oh okay. So then there, not only are you caving in one area, then it's just, oh, you just tumble. You just fucking tumble and you're just caving and caving and just spiraling out of control because you can do that in a good way too if you got all these good habits it's going to spiral in a good way but if you have these bad keystone habits like weed it's just going to spiral and spiral in the wrong way until oh my god then you're too far behind to even be able to do shit you'll be so far behind by the point you actually do want to do something you got to start early you got to start now if you're not starting now then <laughs> you're just you're just falling behind every day that you don't start you're just getting further and further behind guys but man really all you have to do like i said in my binge eating video <laughs> when i stopped smoking weed you know what i did all i did was give i gave away my weed i just i gave away to my all my friends did obviously if you smoke all your friends do so I gave it away. I'm like, dude, you can have this, man. Because at first, I was literally putting it all the way downstairs in my garage. And I'll go and get it anyway. I'm like, dude, the only way. So, guys, just stop having it in the house. And this is easier than getting over binge eating. Because you don't have to have that to survive. Just don't have it in the fucking house. And in the beginning periods, don't hang out with friends who smoke weed. After a while, you can still hang out with them, and you you won't be you won't cave as easily. But especially when you're sensitive to it, you don't want to be around the friends that are doing it. Okay, guys. Ooh, the view. All right, peace.